employer mandate, which requires employers with more than 50 employees to offer health care coverage. It also challenges a provision of the law that authorizes Treasury payments to health insurance companies. House Speaker John Boehner in a statement said that Obama bypassed Congress to take unilateral actions when implementing the health care law. Boehner said if the president can get away with making his own laws, future presidents will have the ability to do so as well. The House has an obligation to stand up for the Constitution. Jonathan Turley, the lead counsel for House Republicans on the lawsuit, said in a Friday blog post that the president's actions blurred the lines between the branches of government and usurped the ability of Congress to use the power of the purse during the appropriations process. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. UPI reports satellite images show China building an island on a reef near the disputed Spratly Islands. The new islands could be big enough to hold the country's first airstrip in the South China Sea. Defense publication IHS Janes said satellite images taken on August 8th and November 14th show Chinese dredgers have created a landmass along Fiery Cross Reef almost as long as the reef itself. Dredgers are also creating a harbor that would be big enough for tankers and major surface surface combatants, according to the publication. The construction has caused alarm among the other countries that lay claim to the island chain. The Spratly Islands and surrounding waters are also claimed by Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, Vietnam, and Brunei. The Philippines in May expressed alarm over other Chinese-built reefs in the area, saying the construction was intended for an airfield. The U.S. recently partially lifted its ban on weapon cells to Vietnam to allow maritime weapons and weapon platforms in light of South China Sea conflicts. China, the only Spratly Island claimant without an airfield in the area, condemned the U.S. action. The long-standing disputes between the countries involve both land and sea claims with interests that include oil, natural gas, fishing areas, and control over shipping lanes. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. From 1941, when an amoeba became the first single-celled organism to play professional baseball, to 1794, when Thomas Jefferson more than likely did something historically significant. The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On May 25, 1925, Tennessee teacher John T. Scopes was formally indicted for teaching the theory of evolution in a public school, after a monkey called to the stand failed to turn into a human. Sir, you have been on the witness stand for a full three hours now. And in this time, we haven't seen you lose any of your hair or shed your tail. Can you at least articulate a single justifiable reason why Mr. Darwin's theory should even be mentioned in our nation's classrooms? And on May 27th, 1995, actor Christopher Reeve came in last place in a horseback riding event. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday edition of the program. We'll take your calls about anything you want to discuss. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, Ian here. And Mark. And last night on our live Saturday edition of the show, we got about halfway through the latest video of John Cantley. He is a, a captor, or a, not a captor, a cap, captive, captive. <laughs> a captive. <laughs> Uh, allegedly being held by ISIS for the last couple of years. He's uh, from the U.K. originally and as a photojournalist. He has been hosting a series of videos called Lend Me Your Ears uh, that has been produced allegedly by ISIS so as to propagandize, so as to get their side of the story out there. And uh, we played the most recent iteration of that video series last night got about halfway through. It's about a nine-minute long video where... Uh, four and a half minutes through that uh, footage. And I want to continue this because I just, if you're new to the show, we've been playing these ISIS videos as they've been coming out. 
because I think it's important to get this information out there and other, you know, we're not a news show. This is a talk show. You can call in and talk about anything you want, but other news and outlets and information outlets, they're just not releasing this information. This, these videos are hard to find. They it take some Googling and some searching to usually pull them up. And uh, so I wanted to get this side, their side of things out, the ISIS side. That's kind of what communication's about, right? Communication is what you're supposed to do instead of going to war. And I'm not claiming that the the, the fact that it seems uh, ludicrous to me, the fact that we might talk about what ISIS is saying is somehow supportive of ISIS. I mean, that seems uh, ridiculous to me. Um, In fact, what I want to know is I want to know what they're saying. I want to know what their claims are. I also, because the narrative tends to change as time goes by. Um, by the narrative, I mean, you know, um, we're going in to find weapons of mass destruction. We didn't find weapons of mass destruction. Mm-hmm. We went in to unseat a terrible dictator named Hussa- uh, Saddam Hussein. Oh, we didn't find the um, the the 747 fuselage that was used as a uh, as a training ground for terrorists in Iraq. So we were going to, uh, the, the Iraqi people were just going to throw flowers at us when we came. Oh, well, they didn't f- throw flowers at us. Well, we we uh, we have to, you know, we went in, we have to finish what we started. You know, like the narrative changes over time. Yeah, sure. It has to ta- change. Narratives change. I just want to be able to know what was said in the beginning, and that's why you have to listen to all sides. So we're going to continue with this. John Cantley uh, will pick up where we left off, but for those of you just tuning in, if you missed last night's show, Essentially, the first four minutes of the video are him talking about— If you the, listen, missed the last uh, last night's show, you can go listen to it at freetalklive.com. That's true. It's available to you, just like the last seven days always are, right on the front page. And if you want anything older than that, it's available at archives.freetalklive.com. All of this is free. None of it you have to pay for. You are correct about that. But to recap the four and a half minutes we will not be playing of the video tonight, uh, John Cantley explains— that there was a rescue attempt by the U.S. military. Again, he's being held captive somewhere, maybe in Iraq. Um, and they, so there was a rescue attempt. They spent a lot of money. He suggests maybe millions of dollars, helicopters, you know, APCs, whatever, all kinds of equipment and troops to try to find these captives. And turns out that ISIS, I don't know if they got wind of it or just got a little nervous or something like that, but they moved their location prior to this actual uh, rescue attempt. Right. And, and uh, uh, what is his name? Cant- John Cantley. Cantley is complaining that um, instead of, you know, doing some negotiating with the uh, terrorists, right. that uh, the great powers here, the U.S. and Great Britain, are uh, choosing instead to run counterterrorism, uh, you know, assaults. Well, rather than, as he pointed out, others who have left due to negotiations, oh, the yeah. U.S. government is not allowing anyone to negotiate. They won't allow the family members to negotiate individually on their own volition to try to get their loved ones out. And the government hasn't been asked for millions of dollars in ransom. They've been asked to release some of their prisoners from the Mujahideen. Here's what I don't understand about that. Okay, so first off, I've I've got a lot of critiques here. Um, I don't think the United States government has any obligation to negotiate with um, they don't ISIS to uh, get uh, Cantley out. Uh, can't lay out, and I don't think the British government has any obligation either. But it's nice of those other governments to do it for uh, for their people, because uh, Cantley says they've released something like over a dozen captors over the last couple captives. of years. Captives, um, thank it, you, captives. That, that's uh, that absolutely did happen, and it was a successful tactic. What are the consequences in the long term? I don't know the answer. Have we incentivized the taking of captives? Uh, have they incentivized the taking of captives in the Middle East? They have. Now um, I don't know how all that's going to play out, but there's no obligation. And if if he wanted to go as a photojournalist to the Middle East, he took all the responsibility mm-hmm. on himself. Now, here's another point I'd like to make. It's reprehensible for these governments to disallow citizens um, whose family members have been taken captive from um, negotiating. But I'd also point out that if one of my family, if my son was taken captive by ISIS, mm-hmm. I would go to – I'd move to Switzerland – and then begin negotiating, or I, I begin negotiating ahead of time. Like, I don't understand exactly why these people have chosen not to negotiate, but consider that they've made a choice. Because of prison, you mean? or the who, who No, they're going to stay in the United States. I, I wouldn't. See. I see. Like, you know, the United States is just a clod of dirt. You can leave it any time you want. Yeah, as long as you have the permission slip. To what? To leave? Yeah. We call that a passport. Right. Just about anybody can get one. 
Oh, I don't know, man. I mean, there's now exit taxes and things like that. You know that. what? If my son was going to die at the hands of a yeah. bunch of terrorists, I wouldn't care about your exit taxes. I would get out of this country, and I would mm. make it happen. Let's not just bl- lay this all on the United States government. Cantley really is just laying it out there, man. Um, and it, I just I disagree with some of the stuff he said. Well, what you've said is that the U.S. government doesn't have an obligation, but that doesn't mean that they don't pr- pretend like they do. I mean, they're constantly saying that it's their job to protect you. Now, we know that it's true that they, they don't have an obligation. They made an effort to try to go in and get them. They spent tens of millions of dollars to go all in. All they had to do was release a couple prisoners, and then they would have been able to get them released. You're Let's just armchair quarterbacking. They believe that they're promoting terrorism by doing that. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't you agree that the other governments— No, they're promoting terrorism by going over and invading uh, countries in the Middle East. That's the reason why John Cantley was captured in the first place. They don't see that. Well, and No, Cantley was captured because his dumb ass was in Syria. Uh, okay? Well, like, so the, the ISIS has not captured you and me. So wait a minute. My point being, though, that if the U.S. and uh, U.K. governments were not over in other countries in the Middle East, um, you know, murdering people, then maybe uh, people from the America and the U.K. wouldn't be at as much risk in those places. Sure, but Cantley, a photojournalist, probably wouldn't have gone there for that very purpose, right? Right. And so if, if the U.S. government wasn't effing around in other countries, he would probably be totally fine today. Let's not forget that uh, he was in Syria at the time, um, and... You know, the United States was supporting, materially supporting, the uh, the organizations that took him hostage. Mm-hmm. They were on the side of the organization that took him hostage. Yeah, they need to stop meddling. So let's I don't disagree here. that they should stop meddling. Here's the video. We were left to die. It's the worst feeling in the world, being left behind like that. We'd been in the longest, paid our dues, watched everyone else go home, never stopped believing, and then wham! Have some of that. You're not worth negotiating for. To be left behind so cynically by the country you thought you knew was some kind of ultimate betrayal. You spend your whole life working, paying taxes, not getting into trouble with the police, well, not for anything serious, paying your bills. And for what? The first time you need your government to do something for you when it's truly life or death, they turn their back. Yeah, I I think you sound cold, Mark, by you know just basically saying, well, they have no obligation. And again, that may be true by Supreme Court diktats and the decisions no, no, that no. they've made. No, 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 no. Listen, what is a government? Let's let's talk it's about criminal philosophically. Gang. No, no, no. I'm not talking about in reality. Philosophically, a government is an organization that claims a monopoly privilege over the use of violence in a given geographic area. Is that correct? They okay. Cantley is not in that given geographic area. It's like saying, "Hey, I'm really upset about the building uh, guy here. Didn't mm-hmm. uh, you know? I've walked off the roof, and five feet off the side of the roof, he didn't build more like roof." Said, it doesn't sound like you're very compassionate. I mean, I totally I'm not understand talking where, about compassion. I totally understand where John Cantley is coming He's from. He's desperate here. and going to die. He, Me too. He has. He feels like he's paid into this system his entire life. He's obeyed their rules. He's given them who knows how many He thought the British government was going to protect him someplace besides Great Britain? They certainly protect, or the U.S. government certainly uh, negotiated for one of their own people back, one of the uh, the military members. They did that. So why shouldn't he think, you know, if he's been paying into this system and the government's been promising him protection all of his life, why shouldn't he think that he should be protected? I don't think that's unreasonable for him. It's Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. 
gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want. We are sharing with you the latest John Cantley video from ISIS. We got halfway through it last night, and we're playing the remainder here tonight uh, because I think it's important to get all the sides we possibly can on this uh, this international conflict. It's easy to get the U.S. government side. Just tune into any major mainstream media channel or news outlet in the United States. Uh, but if you want to get another perspective, well... Thankfully, we have the internet today, and we can actually hear directly from the so-called terrorists. Who, you know, to me, they're all terrorists. Well, I think directly. I mean, they're using Cantley as a uh, a voice here. He's not one of the terrorists. What I mean is, their it's their words, right? Yeah. They're the ones who wrote the script, presumably, or at least let uh, approved it, right? They're the ones They've who edited editorial the video. power. They edited the video, um, and they are the ones releasing the video. So I consider that to be, you know, hearing directly from them. Uh, unlike you know previous decades where such a thing wouldn't be possible, it is possible now, and uh, to that end, we will reveal more from the video in moments. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and at coffee.freetalklive.com, that's where you can go to get a free pound of some of the best coffee out there from BuzzBox. It's 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica, and shade-grown as well. But it's not just any old high-end coffee. When you buy BuzzBox, you get great coffee. And you can help people around the world through Free Talk Live and Kiva. We've teamed up with Kiva.org to help change people's lives who are in poverty, to give them an opportunity to make their lives better on their own through microloans. 
So every 10 Free Talk Live listeners that signs up at coffee.freetalklive.com, every 10 listeners means we can fund one new microloan. And that's pretty exciting. We've been funding microloans already. We can do more. You can get your first pound free, and you can cancel your subscription at any time should, for some reason, you not want this coffee anymore. But from what I'm told, it's awesome coffee. Mark, you still drink it? I don't think it. anyone has canceled their subscription that's at this point. excellent. By, by that, I mean the people that uh, have gone on to pay for at least two deliveries. Yep. So far, I mean, at some point or another, you think somebody would just give up coffee, but... Um, mm-hmm. I don't believe that's happened. Now, there are plenty of people who have taken the pound and then gone. And that's it. And that's fine. Okay. I mean, you know, that's that's what the purpose of it is. Maybe they don't like high-end coffee, right? Like, maybe they like Folgers yeah, or whatever. Knows? So, check it out for yourself. Make your own ch- uh, choice at coffee.freetalklive.com. Uh, again, coffee.freetalklive.com. You just pay the shipping cost. They'll send you a free pound of coffee. We uh, will go to your calls and thoughts. We've got Alma. She's in Tallahassee. You're on Free Talk Live on the Live Sunday edition, Alma. Is this Ian? It is, yes. I'm trying to learn who's who. Yep, that's yeah. me. Mark's okay. here, too. Ian's in the French chair. She doesn't okay. know that, though. You're, are you the small one? Um, yeah, I'm definitely smaller than Mark. Yes. I think he's a little okay, taller. Be, I see you on the, on the computer, but I'm trying to figure out who's who. Yep, that's I'm right. the dashingly good one with he's, the guns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. There is some actually weird stuff going on down here in Tallahassee, Florida. I can't I make sense of it. All right. What All right, is so it? we got that. Anti-government FSU killer that went in there had a great life. Now we have Saturday a deputy that goes to a house to a fire, and he's shot and killed, supposedly. But there's a neighbor that lives next door that is a cop, too, and he runs over. But he, I guess he watches TV in his bulletproof vest because he got shot, but the vest protected him. Wow. This is a strange I, story. I'm really confused here. It's a house fire? A house fire, but he was anti-government too. Who shot the cop? I'm confused. Anti-government. Do we know who shot the cop? Uh, We just know he was anti-government. Who was anti-government? The the, wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. The person whose house was on fire was anti-government, or the cop who ran over there and got shot was anti-government. Correct. He was shot. The house the man was in. The house was on fire. He just shot the cop. Mm. You know the deputy. I guess for the fun of it. Oh my! And the cop lived next door, and he ran across to help, and he had his bulletproof vest on. I guess watching the football game. Well, I mean, if uh, well, it's not unreasonable to believe that somebody in their home who is a cop would have access to their vest, and if he was sitting on the lazy boy <laughs> watching the game, and then hears gunfire there. coming from outside, I I'll would probably there. put that vest on first things first. I would definitely if I had one. Yeah. Hey, Alma, thanks for the call tonight. appreciate the story. It's a strange one, uh, but that's Florida for it you, It is right? strange. It's Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Florida and Germany. Uh, toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So John Cantley continuing here. He's frustrated. He thought his government was going to protect him, and turns out uh, that just really hasn't happened to his satisfaction. He's currently in the hands of ISIS, allegedly, and is making videos for them. Here we'll continue with the audio uh, from LiveLeak.com. I watched a Sky News interview with David Cameron, the night before fellow Briton David Haynes was executed. They have a British hostage. What will you do? asked the journalist. Well, we get our security services, intelligence people and the government together to ask what we can do to get that person back. But it is very difficult and his family have our sympathies, said the PM. Neither David nor his family nor we wanted your sympathy, Prime Minister. What we wanted was your help which, as leader, you could have given. Wow. How can you outrage? Yeah, I mean, that's it's scalding, there's no doubt about it. I, I hope you understand when I say, Ian, that um, what I'm, the point I'm trying to make here is that if I am in New York City and something bad happens to me, mm-hmm. do you think it is reasonable for me to complain about the police in Chicago? Uh, no. Nope. Why didn't they protect me, though? Well, I don't think they promised to protect you. No, I don't think they did. But the United States government, the great Britain, British government, like, for instance, they'll give things like mm-hmm. travel advisories. They'll say, it is best for you not to go in this geographic area. Yep, that's right. And I'd be willing to bet that Syria had the highest level of traffic uh, of Good chance of that. advisory that they could come up with. So if Cantley decided to go into that area, he mm-hmm. has, in my opinion, shed all 
uh, you know, uh, all claim to protection that he might have. I totally understand what you're saying. Okay. Can you understand why he would think that, you know, his government might protect him? No, I think that what he thinks is is that other governments have done a better job. Mm-hmm. And he is questioning the methods that they're using to protect. And I think that's completely valid. Okay. But... But I, you can't understand why he would expect that after paying taxes for a lifetime, that, you no, know, maybe they do something for him. They have tried to do something for him. They mounted a huge uh, raid to get him out. But it that just didn't failed. work, and they went to the wrong place. Right. I understand why yeah. he's in the All situation. All they would have had to have done was just let a few prisoners out. Yeah, well. That would have been a lot easier, a lot cheaper, right? Like taxpayer dollars, as far as taxpayer dollars are and concerned. Then, until it those wouldn't be that hard to open up What if they killed Bay. somebody? Right? You never know. What if who killed who? One of those prisoners that they released. What if they went and killed somebody uh, shortly thereafter? Well, considering they're releasing them into Syria or Iraq or somewhere like that. What if they kill a U.S. soldier? Well, I thought there weren't soldiers on the ground in Syria. Well, the, I, th- I think you'll probably find that there's certainly people that work for the United well, States government you know, and Great I, Britain I, government over there. The, the soldiers could have been killed in the raid too, Mark. Okay, so you know sure. you want to put soldiers at risk, then that would put them at greater risk going on a, a raid. Anyway, it just seems like you're kind of back in the the state in a in a way. Here, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Just the feeling you just I get from you're this. reaching here yeah. um, in in. Yeah, you know, like if you want a Monday morning quarterback their raid, that's fine. We can talk about what happened in Iran in 1979, too. It's cool. We can Monday morning quarterback what they've done. It's just that let's not pretend. I can just empathize with the guy. That's all Me I'm too. not saying. He's got to be desperate. He's okay. got to be absolutely desperate. I'm glad to finally desperate. hear you empathizing with him because it seems kind of cold the way you've been approaching it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got a little bit more from John Cantley. And you can also take control of the airwaves here. 855 450 free, the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. More coming up. We've been patiently waiting. Waiting while you tried to ignore us. Waiting while you acted like we didn't exist. Waiting for our chance to be taken seriously. The wait is over. GCN is available 24-7 at GCNlive.com. Navigate through news from your favorite hosts and download archives of past shows. Download the app on your smartphone or tablet or visit GCNlive.com for instant access and live streaming. GCNlive.com, the future of talk radio. Now at your fingertips. Do good people ever want to call an attorney just to find out if they're right or wrong? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what are you forced to think about first? Money. If you could call as often as you wanted and talk as long as you need without a bill, would you call? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot freetalklive.com this your family today tip is brought to you by juicy juice 100 percent juice providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces visit us at juicyjuice.com when it comes to nutrition kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow for the ideal mix your kids should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100 percent veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100 percent fruit juice a day for more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash your family today. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. 
You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about, but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free, bring up anything here at 855-450 free. We're here live. It's Sunday, the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with you in the studio. You've got Ian and Mark. And if you care about online privacy, you need to know about Pro XPN. It's a global virtual private network. Global meaning there are servers all around the world that you can connect to when you've got their premium account. Now you can go and start out with a free account over at proxpn.com slash FTL to try this out. They encrypt your data connection, meaning that your internet service provider, who's probably right now logging all the websites you visit and the search terms you enter, will no longer know what you're doing online once you start using Pro XPN. And it's easy to download their app. It's available for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices as well. Plus, Linux users, you can get started with Pro XPN. It's just a different setup process, and it's pretty simple. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Go there, get started for free. But when you're ready to upgrade to their premium account to get those worldwide servers you can connect to, and those worldwide servers help you get around regional blocks. So if you've ever been to a website before and it says, sorry, we can't show you this video because you're in the United States. Well, if you connect to their Netherlands server or one of their other international servers, those other sites. they got one in Singapore, don't they? They've got several internationally. Um, if you connect to any of those other servers that are outside the U.S., then those websites won't think you're in the U.S. anymore. So it's pretty neat. Uh, and those are some of the things you can do. You can also privately torrent. And uh, again, there's unlimited bandwidth with the premium account. You can start uh, up with that premium account by using our discount code FTL50. Get you 50% off the price of the annual account. And that brings the price down to about 5 bucks per month. But you can actually save even more by paying with Bitcoin for that annual account. Then you'll save 62% by using code FTLBTC. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL, and you get it all with a risk-free uh, seven-day money-back guarantee. Plus, ProXPN doesn't keep records of your online habits. So again, promo codes are FTL50 and FTLBTC at proxpn.com slash FTL. Get a great discount on privacy. That is priceless. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. Coming up, more from the John Cantley video allegedly released by ISIS. We've got Todd in Tallahassee. You're on Free Talk Live listening to WVFT. Hey there, Todd. Hey, guys. How are you tonight? Welcome, sir. Go just ahead with a, your thoughts. Yeah, uh, Just a quick update with uh, the lady that called in earlier about the uh, sheriff that was shot here in town. What actually happened was uh, it was uh, they, the guy called a false report of a fire to lure first responders oh. so that he could shoot a bunch of them. Uh, wow. And uh, apparently only the deputy sheriff showed up first, uh, engaged, and then the neighbor, who was a police officer, also, um, you know, came over and, and got involved and shot the guy. Oh but it my. wasn't just, uh, he was, it wasn't an actual fire. He was, he was an anti-government guy who wanted to take out police and fire and rescue people. Hmm. And this just happened? This is, nothing. like, this weekend? We're going to have to stop emergency yeah, this, services so the terrorists win. Yeah, this is, right. Well, this was, uh, this, yeah, well, it was this weekend, and then I guess it was Friday, Thursday or Friday night, they had a campus shooting totally unrelated. Uh, uh, so you say. I don't think anybody died from that except, but, well, well <laughs> I'm just kidding, yeah, you. you never know. I understand. When I watch the news, I just kind of take it with a grain of salt. But, uh, <laughs> I'm just, just teasing. And, and, and strangely enough, on the, on the, the, the front page of the Tallahassee Democrat, which is the big paper here, um, the sheriff
up shooting was right there on the front page underneath the, you know, Florida State Seminole football team winning their game. Hmm. Wow. I just thought that was a little funny. Well, didn't something happen with the you know, Seminoles, you know too? Wasn't there some there? tragedy that happened with the – yeah, that, that was a school thing, right? There was a shooting – Yeah, that was a school shooting. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, okay. it was. I mean, yeah, I hate to hear any of those things happening, but that always brings out the – you know, let's take everybody's guns away. Sure. So, I mean, you know, I have to take those things with a grain of salt, too. And that's, you know, it's terrible to even think that. I am a parent. You know, I do send my kids to school, and I do worry about school shootings. But, you know, uh, are they all real? I yeah. would hate to think that they're lying you're, to us about something like that. You're fine. Those God, schools, just... all, you, all the schools you're sending your kids are gun-free zones. You're fine. There, nothing yeah. like that will happen there. Right. Todd. Oh, yeah, exactly. No, nobody there with a gun, yeah. <laughs> hey, Todd, I did pull up the <laughs> Leon County Sheriff's press release as reported by WCTV TV uh, regarding what happened. It was November 22nd, and they have identified the law enforcement officer killed as 47-year-old Deputy Christopher Smith. But they say in here that the man did set his house ablaze. They believe that— Oh, he, he went Oh, he went the whole way, huh? Okay. No they wonder say. he felt compelled to shoot somebody uh, as quickly yeah. as possible. I mean, the house is on fire, right? <laughs> like, Apparently, you know, he, they, set a, uh, he set an alarm clock. According to the story here, <laughs> the uh, officers exchanged gunfire with the suspect for an estimated 12 to 13 minutes. That's a fairly wow. long gunfight. That's a, yeah. yeah, that's a pretty good gunfight for Tallahassee. Yeah. <laughs> for anywhere, I would say. Uh, I mean, for one man that's in, a his, firefight there. in his house. Hey, uh, Todd, thanks for the call. Thanks for clarifying that. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. I hope that didn't happen on a crowded street, just people shooting all over the place. I don't know. Long, the, apparently, this was, uh, let's see, the this, the Plantation Woods subdivision. So it sounds like a neighborhood. Yeah, it sounds like a neighborhood. Where are those bullets going? Tallahassee police say that uh, Holly, this is the man who did the shooting, allegedly, the uh, the man who holed himself up in the burning house, uh, Holly, Wade Holly, Curtis Wade Holly, 53, uh, that he had previously expressed anti-government sentiments and that he had discussed harming law enforcement so we don't know if he's going to end up being, you know, one of those sovereign citizen types. You that, suppose he's one of our callers? Uh, well, I don't know. We do. We are live on the radio in uh, in Tallahassee. This is what I'd like to point out: is what happens when you advocate for violence against the government, which we do not do on free. Talk no, 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 live. no. We do not. But I mean, people who call often. We've had plenty of people call in and do the same. Uh, advocate for that. Sure, but and we don't let them get away with it. What's the point? You know, I mean, the, here's here's your article, pal. It wasn't even national news. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Brian. He's uh, also in the Tallahassee area. Brian, you're on Free Talk Live. Good evening. Thanks hey. for taking my call. Welcome, sir. You're on the air. Um, yes, I was uh, listening. I'm not sure that I got the uh, the entire intro from you guys, uh, but uh, this unfortunate gentleman that is being held hostage by those uh, uh, Islamists over in Syria or wherever he is, mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a rod and shame, but unless he's you know some kind of undercover agent or something, he's there on his own. And I, I don't feel that the government owes him anything, including the English. I mean, if they want to, have at it. But you know, that's part of liberty is going where you feel you need to be, and then, and then paying the price. Mm. That's what it takes. I want to agree with you, Brian. I mean, I have also agreed with Mark earlier. The government doesn't owe you protection. That's certainly true. They've made that decision over and over again in their court system. Uh, even if he was in the United States when they abducted him, the government you know, wouldn't owe him the protection. Or excuse me, in the U.K., because uh, he's from the U.K. But uh, if he was in the U.K., they abducted him and took him to Syria, they still wouldn't owe him the protection. Uh, but, you know, they could have done something where other governments did do things uh, around the European governments, did negotiate with the captors. And they did get the people that were being held captive released. So they could have, even though they don't have an obligation, is I guess the point that uh, that I was making. I'm not really necessarily saying they should have or not, but I can understand why John Cantley is pretty butthurt over this. And I can tell you that if John Cantley was released, like let's just say the ISIS guys decided, you know what, he's done a good job of recording these videos for us. Jeez, I hope they do that. Cut him loose. I don't expect they will because John Cantley thinks they're going to kill him. They're evil. But, uh, but let's just say they have a change of heart and they let John Cantley out. You can damn well better believe the government's going to tell John Cantley he's got an obligation to keep paying taxes when he gets back, won't well, they? Yeah, absolutely right. Um, but just Where did that obligation right, come from? Minor distinction. Um, I think that the—I mean, you said if the guy was kidnapped in the U.K., 
Well, if they kidnap him in the U.K. and manage to spirit him out of the country, um, I, I, I guess the situation is not exactly the same. Um, I, it seems like you ought to be able to, if you're going to, if you're going to have a statist nation like the U.K., you would think that the police ought to have some kind of responsibility to prevent people from getting grabbed and shipped out of the country against well, their will. They have no responsibility I mean, for that. children involved in a custody fight. <laughs> but that's another discussion. Mm. Hey, Brian, thanks for the call tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855 855- 450 free. Don't forget that I don't know about the UK, but at least the United States government demands you keep paying them taxes if you leave their country. I, so, I imagine they're probably not going to go after Cantley for this. Who? The US government? Or anybody, anybody else who was one of their captors. Okay. My point was that if you, um, you know, if, if you are paying their, their taxes, they're still going to demand you pay them taxes outside of the country as well, but again, owe you nothing. On the wall. How did I become so fat? If you're a woman over 40 and you're having trouble losing extra weight, please call the Amberin Hotline now at 1 800 959 4261. After 40, your body changes, and so should your weight loss strategy. At Amberin, we specialize in breakthrough solutions specifically tailored to women over 40, including hormonal balance, relief from menopausal symptoms like hot flashes. And you can lose pounds of stubborn extra weight in just weeks with Amberin Weight Loss. Right now, through this special radio offer, you can get a 100% risk free trial. Just call 1 800 959 4261 now. So if you're a woman over 40 and you're tired of looking in the mirror and not liking what you see, call the Amberin Hotline today. Hurry. This limited time 100% risk-free offer won't last forever. Call 1-800-959-4261. That's 1-800-959-4261. Again, 1-800-959-4261. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three square meals you'll need in an emergency. So the freeze-dry guys, three square meal units sale is just a ticket a variety pack of tasty nourishing breakfast lunch and dinner on sale now breakfast is freeze dry guys favorite hot oatmeal and sweet dehydrated bananas lunch is mountain house freeze dried hot macaroni and cheese and crisp green beans and dinner is mountain house long grain wild rice pilaf and hearty beef stew vegetables and gravy call freeze dry guy and ask for details on the 126 serving three square meals unit one case normally 164.37 sale price at only 138.90 save over 25 bucks get two or three cases and save even more or ask about freeze dry guys fall chili special always free shipping to the lower 48 states call 866-404-3663 or click freeze dry guy.com and hurry the fall chili special and three square meals unit are on sale while supplies last from the freeze dry guy the finest freeze dried and dehydrated foods available for long-term storage period The couple told reporters this week that they routinely urge their son Patrick to devote all of his time and resources to his improv comedy education. We keep telling Patrick again and again that if you don't buckle down and start learning basic concepts like Yes And and The Herald Now, nobody is going to take you seriously later uh, in life. He has to start thinking about this now. The parents explained that he should try to get as much out of his improv training as possible by attending improv jams, forming a few indie teams, and doing as much bar prop as possible to keep himself warm for those upcoming Herald auditions. The fact is, if Patrick were on stage with his fellow improvisers and one of them were to play, say, a super villain who's afraid of mice, Patrick wouldn't even be able to identify the game in that scene, let alone respond in a supportive way. I gotta say, I had this internship at a law firm, but I quit to do a character workshop and a musical elective. I think this is really gonna pay off for me in the long run. This is the Onion News Network. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. 
Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, the live Sunday edition of the program. We'll take your calls about whatever's on your mind, 855-450-FREE. It doesn't have to be ISIS. We heard about a shooting a police officer down in Tallahassee, Florida, allegedly or ostensibly done by some sort of an anti-government guy. I was looking around to try to learn more about this character, uh, and there's very, very little, at least right now in the news media, about this. This is a fairly fresh occurrence. I'm sure that more detail will be forthcoming within the next few days. So if y'all are in Tallahassee and you want to tell us more about it as you learn more, feel free, because I can't guarantee you we're going to keep following the case here on Free Talk Live. So, But if you want to help us follow it, you can always call in with updates and kind of let us know what you learn. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say he turns out to be a sovereign citizen, but maybe not. Maybe he's just a tea partier. Who knows? What this guy's story is. Well, uh, if we know more, when we find out, we'll let you know. And you can find out and let us know, too. Toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Because this show is a conversation. This is not a, a we-tell-you-what's-important kind of show. Yes, we do bring things in that we think are important. But our phones are open all the time. And uh, you can call in and bring up anything. We were talking about John uh, John Cantley, the man being held captive allegedly by ISIS. He's the guy who's been appearing in a series of propaganda videos that have been released. That's been the bulk of the topics so far in the show tonight. We're going to continue with his video, what uh, may be the last one. I hope not. I hope that he's not executed at the end of all this, but I suspect that uh, that he will be. Um, as they have executed all of their hostages that have not been, well, released due to negotiations. So in the other execution videos, they've had the executed, the condemned man, read a little something. That's correct. And then the next video is dead, right? Uh, no, the condemned man will read something in the video in which he dies. Okay, it, that's then right. After then they show the... They sawed him, uh, they sawed his uh, neck with what appears to be a plastic knife that doesn't uh, produce blood, <laughs> and um, then he's, you know, then they cut, and then he's dead, right? That's right. They then show the body, they show the head on top of the body that has been decapitated, and then after that, they will usually uh, have the next victim silently being held at the you know the the arm arm's length from the um, the murderer at the ready okay you're just kind of recapping yeah well i'm just i'm thinking about this because cantley has done so much more work for them he really has i mean he's he's gone to bat for him i mean he doesn't have to be doing it right like he could have just said hell no and then they would have beaten him and, and tortured him or whatever so yeah and i wonder you know how they got these other guys to do the little readings that they did we'll uh, kill your family it's a possibility, yeah. or we'll let you. We'll make sure you die quickly. Um, you know, like I don't know if I consider cutting someone's head off a quick death, but you know, uh, cutting someone's head could, off is could a, be worse. Is a very quick death, is that um, right? Yeah, it, it depends on how you do it. Mm. Sawing at it with what you know, a, a fixed blade Small knife, like blade. they did. Yeah. I don't really believe that they were killed that way. I think that that's just them doing a video i think that it in fact uh, maybe they were maybe it was traded for like a guillotine situation or maybe they weren't killed i don't know yeah. good question let's continue the video here from john canley he's been explaining the failed attempt on the part of the uk and us governments to rescue them when they could have uh, simply traded some prisoners like other countries did uh, let's go on though with the video the whole system is working on their behalf as you did in that interview when David's body now lies in the Syrian desert. What kind of system is that? The PM then went on to deride the European negotiators who fulfilled the conditions for the release of their prisoners as supporting terrorism. But what they did to get their people home was nothing compared to what we've done by supporting corrupt outfits like the FSA, who only sell the hundreds of millions of dollars of weapons they've been given many of whom end up in the hands of the Islamic State itself. I then watched President Obama's speech about taking the fight to the Islamic State. I was amazed as he mentioned two names in the opening paragraphs of his address, James Foley and Stephen Sotloff, my two former American cellmates, 
also executed by the Islamic State. And it became clear to me that we're just being used by our politicians. Obama and Cameron act all shocked and appalled each time one of us is killed. But they've known this was coming for months, months. They've known our six names, who was holding us, and the consequences of not negotiating for over a year. So for them to act all surprised and shocked each time one of us is executed is a massive lie to the public and our families. Long ago, I accepted that my fate will overwhelmingly likely be the same as my cellmates, and I'm angry about it. Not towards the Mujahideen, they are doing what they said they would do if our countries did not negotiate. And well, that that's bull crap. I mean, he should very well be angry at the Mujahideen. Um, I mean, th that's they're the ones killing him. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I will give him the uh, Obama and uh, oh shoot, what's Cameron? The, Cameron, uh, the PM guy there. I'll give him the oh, we're shocked thing yeah. is a bunch of hooey. Uh, I'll definitely give him that, but you know. I, I don't blame the Humuja Hadin for killing me. Come on. Well, he's under ca he, you know he's under captive yeah. uh, control here, and so he is. You know, they're the ones also who are feeding him while he is still alive, Indeed. and uh, presumably not torturing him uh, because he's Hope going not. along with the the plan here. Let's continue. For the American airstrikes against the Islamic State. No, I'm angry at our governments for allowing the matter to get to this position, and then having done so, using the deaths of my colleagues for their own reasons through the media. I'm angry with our governments for not discussing this matter with our families, for not discussing the matter with the Islamic State, and for treating our life like some sort of gamble. You like would think that there would be a, like, you know, we're paying diplomats here in the United States, and maybe those diplomats could, I don't know, Spend a little time on diplomacy with the <laughs> with the Islamic State. I mean, yeah, I but get that would that give one. them the uh, you know, to to acknowledge the Islamic State in that way, right? Would give them the uh, the acknowledgement that they are a state, right? I that don't they, think that they that could would come them... to the table and negotiate. I don't think that that would necessarily uh, give them the acknowledgement that uh, they're a state. Well, they I want mean, to treat them like they're terrorists. The U.S. government wants to treat them like they're terrorists. I I get that they want to treat them like they're terrorists, but they are holding a prisoner mm -hmm. and. You know, I mean, it seems like it's worth negotiating. Like, let's have a yeah. talk about this. No, I'm sorry. We have a we have a strong stand that we do not negotiate with terrorists, but we'd like to talk to you. But that's the thing. They'll negotiate with other governments, and other governments are also terrorists. I mean, if you look at the definition of terrorism, terrorism is essentially using force or the threat of force to achieve social goals or political and social goals. I mean, I mean, if a government isn't an organization that uses threats let's just call it threats right like um, i assume you're terrorized by threats so if a government is an organization that uses threats then i've been living a lie the whole time right i thought that they were threatening me when it came to taxes i thought they were threatening me when it came to a, a whole variety of laws out there that have mm -hmm. no victim they i thought it was just threats they are threatening you yeah uh, and so when they negotiate with other nations that they recognize as nations, don't they don't call them terrorists. They don't call, you know, Japan or Germany or whatever other you fill in the blank, whichever arbitrary nation you want. They don't call them terrorists, even though that's exactly what they are. They've just been around longer. Yeah. The Islamic State's new to the scene. And so they haven't yet gotten, you know, the acknowledgement from the UN as being another state, etc. But ultimately, that's all that states are roll of the dice when everyone else went home. I will continue to speak out against this military action and the deceitful arrogance of our governments for as long as the Mujahideen allow me to live. Once again, we are becoming embroiled in a war that has little to do with humanitarian issues or national security, but is all about oil, business, money, and the political gains of selfish individuals and parties. Well, I don't see anything, right wrong. On. Think I don't see anything wrong with oil, uh, business, or heard. money. Hold on. Oh, hey, he's done. Sorry, I'm just letting it finish out. Sorry. Go ahead. I, like, you know, these are the sort of, uh, uh, these are the touchstones of the, you know, we're so much better than oil and business and money. Oh, please. How do you think you got where you are? It was business and oil and money that got you to... Uh, you know, that th th you get up every day for. 
what is the point you're trying to make here, Mark? He's well, he's correctly not... calling out the military-industrial complex. The military-industrial that statement agrees with the editorial viewpoint of Free Talk Live. Typically, uh, I, look, I, I understand the government should not be involved in that. The government, if if you're going to have a state, if you're going to have an organization that claims a monopoly privilege mm-hmm. in the use of violence in a given landmass, that organization should do simply that. Now, okay. throughout history, they have done much, much more, which is to say, supported the interests of American businesses or and whatever oil it is that they're doing. And whatever else. Right. Yeah. And I get that that's wrong. But, uh, you know, let's let's not just downplay business and oil and money. These things are good. He was talking. He wasn't downplaying. That. You are totally reading into uh, his statement there, something that wasn't there. He was talking about the motivations for the conflict in the Middle East, and it absolutely is to uh, to enrich the military-industrial complex. Absolutely. That much is true. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can take control here. Hour number two is coming up. This is Free Talk Live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at LibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. Gold closed yesterday at $1,193, up $14. Silver closed at $16.23, up $0.17, and Bitcoin is trading around $353. Today's precious metal price is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food eFoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for your savings today. In the news, a common sense middle ground approach. That's what President Barack Obama called his plan regarding immigration reform as unveiled during a speech Thursday night. I continue to believe that the best way to solve this problem is by working together to pass that kind of common sense law. But until that happens, there are actions I have the legal authority to take as president that will help make our immigration system more fair and more just. The executive order means those undocumented immigrants who have lived in the United States for five years or more, who are the parents of either American citizens or lawful residents, will not be deported. Before that would happen, they would have to undergo criminal and national security background checks. Their status would be reviewed every three years. 
A Wednesday night, early Thursday morning protest at police headquarters in Ferguson, Missouri, led to several arrests. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch says the arrests stem from a peaceful but noisy rally that led to the short-term closure of a local roadway. Police have not publicly stated why the arrests were made. The protest comes as the grand jury decision regarding the death of unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown by the gun of police officer Darren Wilson is awaited. Protesters with the Occupy Central movement have been occupying major roads in Hong Kong for eight weeks now, despite an apparent drop in support. Founders of Occupy Central have also proposed that the student protesters find other forms of protest, citing backlash from the community as the reason for change. The Liberty Beat, sponsored by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online, shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Did you know you can support the Liberty Beat when shopping on Amazon.com? Just log into your account after clicking our Amazon affiliate link at libertybeat.com slash Amazon. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. The United States has released five prisoners from Guantanamo as part of the effort to close the detention center on the Navy base in Cuba. According to the Associated Press, officials say three men were sent to Georgia and two to Slovakia. The release announced by the Pentagon on Thursday brings the prisoner population at Guantanamo to 143. The documentary 101 Reasons, Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, was released this week for free on YouTube. The film explores 101 reasons to move to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, an idea officially launched in 2003 to make the state the home for liberty-loving activists around the nation. The film includes personal stories from FSP participants and analyzes the historical relevance of the movement. The Committee to Protect Journalists has released a set of tips to protect journalists from eavesdroppers who might pry in their communications. The CPJ made several recommendations, including only surfing websites with the upgraded web protocol HTTPS. The S stands for secure. This applies encryption to your whole connection and keeps you private. They also recommend email encryption software such as PGP. Text messages and phone calls can be encrypted with TextSecure and RedPhone for Android or Signal for iOS. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat, made possible by My Magic Mud, detoxifying tooth powder, the most effective and affordable dental care around. Get a 150 application jar at MyMagicMud.com. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To inquire further, visit TheLibertyBeat.com slash advertise. This is The Liberty Beat for Friday, November 21st, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. On June 4th, 1919, a group of bold, passionate men took it upon themselves to pass the Women's Suffrage Act, finally granting women the right to vote that they were too frail and helpless to achieve on their own. Having long watched women struggle to stand up for their right to choose elected officials, the strong and capable men decided to intercede and aid their weak female counterparts. And on June 6, 1972, David Bowie's release of his concept album, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust, kickstarted the glam rock genre and led to such spin off trends as glam medicine, glam sports, and glam architecture, all culminating in the 1976 presidential glam election. And that was what happened this week in history. In the words of French King John II, history will forever remember the great names of Alexander and Napoleon and Washington. But what about me, John II of France? I did stuff too. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Dial in toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Joining you tonight, Ian here. And Mark. Uh, we've got, of course, plenty of things to discuss. Your calls are welcome about anything you'd like to talk about. We are here live on this Sunday edition of the program. Yeah, it's hard for me to imagine that we've changed everything up here on the Sunday program. It feels so natural just being on the air with you, the guy I've been on the air with for 12 years. 
Yeah, everything seems like it's in place. Uh, our toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype as well. The Skype username to connect to is lrn.fm. We'll continue with your calls, but Mark, there was something that you had wanted to discuss tonight regarding the Colbert Report, which came out on Wednesday about the uh, the Robin Hooders here in Keene. Robin Hooders being people who save others from getting parking tickets by generally walking in front of the parking enforcer and depositing uh, coins into expired meters. Yeah, so, I, I can po post that video up at uh, facebook.freetalklive.com for anybody who might not have seen it. would be great if you would do that, sure. Uh, but it is essentially, it is a dishonest hit piece. Would you agree with that? No, it's fiction. Okay. It's like mixing fiction with reality, uh, that piece. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> like, for instance, they said that uh, Christopher Cantwell, you know, they, they portrayed him as being a free keen person or whatever. They called it the free keen squad uh, on this video where sure. they profiled different Robin Hooders. And uh, Chris Cantwell, of course, hasn't Robin Hooded except for one time two years ago. But uh, he's also not a free keen blogger, but yet they sat him right next to two of our bloggers and uh, and that was even even though one of the bloggers, Garrett Ian, specifically told the crew that he wants nothing to do with Chris Cantwell and he disagrees with a lot of the stuff that Chris Cantwell stands for. So, yeah, I mean, it was fiction. Absolutely. Well, it, I mean, but it sure was entertaining. Fiction's a general uh, is a is a kind way to describe what I saw when they okay. entered the area of editorializing by calling you douchebags, um, mm. a holes. Um, what were the other uh, terminology? Oh, I don't recall. It was you, a whole you've bunch hit on of a couple of them. Really, uh, you know, pretty pretty harsh criticisms, right? Yeah. And at that point, they've entered the area of editorializing. It's not just the area of, of comedy writing. Um, and, you know, maybe you could make the claim. I don't see it that way. I see this as them. Uh, you know, the the uh, Daily Show is. For people under the age of 35, the number one news program that they watch, they'll cite it as though it's news. It's not. It's not news. Yeah. But I've I found like they've done some really great stuff, and it 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 rides the edge of news. It's like news mm -hmm. only funny, yeah. in, in, yeah. in many many cases. So when they tell a lie like this story for the purpose of jokes. Mm -hmm. It suggests that what they're doing is telling the truth and being funny about it, right? Yeah, sure. So I don't. A lot of people believe what they saw in the uh, Colbert report this week. A, a lot of people, like the vast majority, Liberty people, believe that they what they saw <laughs> on the Colbert report. The vast majority of people. So mm. I found it to be a dishonest hit piece. I'm not going to back off of that statement. You know, screw them and their bullcrap. And I'd use much harsher words if I wasn't on the FCC. I'm grateful for it, personally. But, I, I hear you that you are, yeah. and that's what I want to talk about. Just like I was grateful for the New York Times uh, piece that came out that, by all accounts, was a hit piece. That came out about six months ago. So I have Front tried page. I, I've tried to get my head around your position over and over, um, and mostly— Which position? Your position that uh, any press is good press is essentially what you say. Mm, okay. And I mostly agree with you now, and I didn't used to in the mm -hmm. past. So this is not a victory for you. This is me coming around, right, to a different way of thinking about things. Because when I see the, the New York Times piece about the Free State Project, a hit on the Free State Project and Free Keen and the Free whatever, I'm not sure, but the word free is probably in there somewhere. And, and I see the numbers, the, the signers rise for the Free State Project. Mm -hmm. I'm... You know, because I felt really put upon hearing this article. I felt like, you know, there were uh, my positions were mischaracterized. I felt like there was a lot of editorializing going on. It didn't feel like a news peep. I was he wasn't a journalist. Hurt he was or a upset. Columnist. He's a columnist. That's he certainly where is. you editorialize. Yeah, I got yeah. it. I got it, man. Right. But I was hurt and upset okay. by the article. Yep. A lot of people are hurt and upset by the Colbert report. And I am. Um. But but I felt better when I heard when I heard that. Hey, you know, numbers rose. Hey, mm. another bad article. The numbers go up. And that's fine yeah. by me. Um, I, okay, I can live with this. I get. I see where you're coming from. No press is bad press. I will not ever concede that no press is bad press. But I will suggest that press, perhaps that I have less control of, uh, over, might be better than I think. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, obviously, the New York Times piece would have been better had it been a glowing uh, review of the activism here. There's but no it doubt did. That but we did get signers out of it, and there's no way to deny that, right? Absolutely. So I, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to concede that point. 
Now, yeah, uh, and I'll certainly concede that some press is better than others. I mean, the New York Times piece was not great press, but it was front page in the New York Times, and people saw it who agreed with us, and they, you know, disregarded what that guy, you know, what that liberal writer had to say in the New York Times, and you know, they went and checked out the the Free State Project as a result of that. Indeed, and what I'm trying to get my head around here is why I should be happy about the Colbert Report. Because well, I don't care if you're happy or not. Uh, well, you never, you never are. But um, uh, you know, like I want to understand your motivations for doing this, and you know, then I can come to my own conclusions as to whether your mo- motivations are misled or not. And the question I have is, is what the hell is the purpose of this? The the, the Free State Project isn't involved. It was never mentioned no, at one no. point. It wasn't the um, the thrust of it. No. It, you know, you don't. Are, has Free Keen seen more people say they're going to move to Keen as a result? I mean, is this because it seems like the very worst? Uh, it makes me wish long for the days when we're lambasted on the front page of the New York Times by a columnist who is, you know, moving into the gray area of untruthfulness. I wish we had that again because, <laughs> my God, the crap that I saw in the Colbert report was just awful. Like, mm. where, where, how is this not? You just standing there and letting the Colbert Report make fun of libertarians like oh, me we did everywhere. more than just stand there. We assisted them in yes. making fun. How is it not that? You not assisting That's people. That's exactly what we did. We assisted them assisting by— Assisting making fun of uh, liberals, making libertarians yeah. look stupid, childish, yeah. a-holes. Like, we Stop collectivizing. We already have that. Stop collectivizing. I mean, you would think libertarians would be better than this, right? But I'll, I'll, I've seen so many responses very similar to yours uh, on Facebook. I'm not claiming that I'm collectivizing. I'm claiming that everybody else, including the Colbert Report, does. Okay. It's not my concern. So what exactly do you want me to tell you? Why did you do this? And what do you think you got out of it? They approached us. Uh So Colbert Report came to— The uh, dangling, beautiful carrot of being on this uh, big show. Yeah, it's so funny because some of these libertarians who are upset, they don't understand. They just can't understand. Well, didn't you guys know they were going to do this? Uh, This is a Colbert Report. Of course we knew they were going to do this. Something like this. Dear God, I didn't think it would be this. This was exactly what I expected. I mean, the only thing that that didn't happen that I was expecting to happen was I thought they might show more from the Stop Free Keen side and, you know— lambast them but they did that by showing uh the parking enforcer and you know having him they compare. didn't lambast him at all sure they did they they allowed him to compare being in iraq to being on the streets of keen and he looked pretty ridiculous no he way. looked like a person who was su- suffering from ptsd and uh who's okay, uh, well, it depends on your perspective but there are a number of people who would agree with me phantoms were drawn up for him by yeah. a bunch of he looked uh, pathetic mean hippies yeah he looked pretty pathetic there okay but uh nonetheless uh, you know i totally expected to be completely raked over the coals and lambasted and uh you know i didn't get as much face time in that as some of the other folks did but right. just in Probably general because um and and well, that would be a question i would ask as you um is hey consider for a second that i didn't get a lot of face time here maybe the things that i said my attempt to communicate through these people was uh thwarted by the fact that they didn't want somebody who sounded articulate well, it's certainly true that James Cleveland, who was featured in that, is an articulate gentleman. Yeah, it's just, it's just that they, 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 they showed the portion showed, of him going, um, uh. Right. I mean, oh, everybody that, does it, it that at some dishonest, point. It was dishonest, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what you expect from the Colbert Report. They create a narrative based on uh, I do not expect editing. that from the Colbert Report. Well, I do get not find used it to it because that's what they do. I do not find it acceptable that that's what they did, and they ought they do to be the ashamed. Okay? Maybe that's news to me, Ian. Okay. Really, when I watch The Daily Show, I feel like what they're doing is a really funny take in many cases on the news. There are times you might be wrong about when that. I'm like, oh, that's just dishonest. But mm-hmm. it's never felt so personal as when, it, when they come they to They come Keen, after you. And well, they didn't come after me. Well, you kind of collectively, feels, right? Well, right. that's that's eight fifty five four fifty free. We'll address more of the butt hurt coming up here in moments. You can take control. It's Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Khalid lives in Gaza. 
He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call one 800 2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Aren't you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Well, stop using their money. There's an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. And by using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. It's Free Talk Live, and it is the live Sunday edition of the program. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And, of course, you can join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Joining you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian here. And Mark. And, Mark, tell me about how to get gold and or silver. It's easy. Go to gold.freetalklive.com. We've got gold and silver there available to you. Gold and silver priced, well, in my opinion, at least silver. I, I'm, I'm not watching gold nearly as closely right now. It's down. It's down, but it's not down as far as silver's down. It seems like silver has a lot more upside. To me, I don't know. That's yeah, my opinion. Yeah. So anyway, I'm I'm getting silver. Uh, you can too. Gold.freetalklive.com is the place to do it. You'll get great prices, great service from Midas Resources. I've been doing business with them for many, many years, and they are actually our syndicate too. So um, 877-857-9938 is the number. It's gold.freetalklive.com, 877-857-9938. Give them a call and just see what the pricing's like, 877-857-9938. 
So we're talking about your feelings, Mark, tonight and how it is that you are hurt. It's not like mine aren't shared by somebody, but go ahead. You are hurt. They are shared by a lot of people in the libertarian movement. Um, You're hurt. You are upset because the Colbert Report came to town over the summer here in Keene, New Hampshire. They shot some footage with some of the Robin Hooders, the activists, uh, who I'm one of them. Uh, I don't do it very often, but whenever I get a chance. Just often enough to be able to say you're Robin Hood, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Often enough to make some videos and, you know, get some heat over it. So uh, they came around, followed around the Robin Hooders, who are the people who walk in front of the meter maids in Keene, New Hampshire, and deposit money in expired meters, saving people from getting tickets. And Colbert Report, as expected, came in and lampooned the hell out of us. They, uh, you know, they gave it, gave it to us good. And that was exactly what we were expecting. And so you asked the question, Mark, why did we agree to this in the first place? Yeah, and what did you think that you're going to get? What, what do you feel like you got out of it? Because you seem happy for a person yeah, who, has been, uh, who has been lambasted on national television, one of the more popular programs on television yeah. uh, around the world, who seems to have achieved nothing in the process. Oh, you seem no. awfully happy. What, well, first of all, I cer- we certainly achieved uh, publicity. I mean, what would it cost to buy seven minutes worth of advertising? Really bad advertising. <laughs> <laughs> Advertising saying that you're feeding razor blades to babies yeah. and poisoning yeah. dolphins. You're exaggerating a little bit there, but not uh, much. <laughs> the, uh, the the web visits on freekeen.com went up tenfold the, okay. the following day. So there were a lot of people. Yeah, but you don't get advertising dollars off of that. No. It's not like no, Google I don't AdWords. make any money yeah. from, from Freekeen. Okay. But that does mean people are coming to the site. That means they're doing their own investigation. Obviously, some of the people coming to the site came to leave nasty messages. I mean, that's certainly what's going to happen after Including a Including a death like threat, if I recall correctly. Uh, I think that one came through our Facebook page. Okay. But uh, nonetheless, so we got lots of, uh, lots of traffic. And Mark, you were talking about earlier that this wasn't even promoting the Free State Project, and so therefore, how are we going to get signers out of this? Well, when you come to Free Keen and you learn about what's going on at Free Keen, eventually you're probably going to learn about the Free State Project if you check around enough. And in fact, when uh, this report came out on Wednesday, the... Uh, the 101 Reasons movie was on the front page of freekeen.com. So there were some That's really great. There were some items there on the front page that made it pretty clear the what the Free State Project was and that it existed and all that. So it's certainly possible that, you know, down the road somebody could sign up for the Free State Project because of this. But again, that wasn't if, if my they, goal. If they watched the 101 Reasons, um if okay, so if they see the Colbert Report video, yep. they go to the um the website, they see the 101 Reasons movie and mm-hmm. you can see it at Hundred and one hundred one reasons film dot com dot com. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and if they see that movie, and then they decide, you know what, I was wrong, and they just they move to the Free State Project because of that, then I would agree that that would be a success, and I would point out that you probably would never get credit for that, right? Like yeah, there would be no, right. it would be so circuitous. They would not likely write Colbert Rapport on their why I found the Free State Project field right. when they sign up. But again, that wasn't the goal, right? That you know, we didn't do this expecting that it was going to be some sort of publicity boost for the Free State Project. I'm just giving you reasons why that you know but something I'm un- like that but could I, happen. And I'm trying to find out what publicity do you think you know for Free Keen? Free Keen doesn't really benefit from. I didn't this. even know if Free Keen was going to get coverage. I I expected Robin Hooding to get coverage yeah. out of this, and uh, they ended up calling it the Free Keen Squad. So Free Keen got Googled quite a bit. When you look at the when I looked at the one day and you know the thousands of visits that came on that one day. Uh, you know, you can break down the searches and see what people were looking for. And people were searching, obviously, for Free Keen and Free Keen Squad. And so that's what brought people to the site. People weren't linking in. There wasn't some sort of link they found on Facebook. Facebook only provided like 100 uh, visits on that day. It was definitely Google searches. So people saw that uh, footage and they Googled Free Keen and they came to the website. And they gave you death threats. <laughs> well, it was only really one uh, you know, semi-death threat. But... So why did we do it? Well, we knew there was going to be publicity that would come out of this. Why would you do any kind of media interview? There are some people, Mark, who their response is that you shouldn't do media at all because, well, the media is they're they're just, you know, mainstream media and they're going to let you have it or whatever. And And, and fine. if, If your point is, by the way, Ian, that I have done, you know. I, Ian, have done a great deal of media in the 10 years that I've been doing Free Talk Live. I've tried very hard to get media. It's hard to get media, and I'm so glad I've gotten it. I would consider this one 
to be a PR failure, but you got to kind of take these things in the aggregate. You got to kind of look at the whole big picture. I've gotten a lot of media. I've gotten a lot of signers for the Free State Project and for my other liberties uh, organizations. I'm happy in the aggregate, and I'm upset in the uh, you know in the specific. But you don't seem to no, be, I'm not and that's why all. I want to know. That's what I'm trying to parse out. That's what if I'm trying to understand. Get, if you don't want, because I'm upset, you're not. Of course Please, not. I got what I was looking it. for. If you, um, and by the way, I wouldn't be upset anyway, even if you know some uh, reporter was being friendly to me, and then they changed their uh, editorial tone when they wrote it, because they can do whatever they want with the interviews that uh, that I give them, or you know the. They're TV certainly going recordings. to do whatever they want. Right. You just accept that. I mean, look, the the difference here is that there are people in the libertarian movement who've never gotten press a day in their life or the the only press they've received came from within the liberty movement so you know it's always been friendly and so they don't know how to handle this they don't understand what to do when somebody makes fun of them or critiques them and uh so you know when the colbert report comes knocking and when they send the email saying hey we're interested in doing a, a co you know covering the robin hooding case you know what you're getting into. You know you're going to be lambasted. You know you're going to be made fun of, and you'll be made fun of relentlessly. And they'll use the, the video footage in ways that you didn't intend them to, to use the video footage, and they'll edit it creatively, and that's, that's what they did. And you also know that lots of people are going to see it, and that people who see it are likely to take action and maybe try to learn a little bit more about it. And that's all I really care about. I just want to get the ideas out there. And yeah, okay, you could argue that maybe this, you know, maybe if uh, the Robin Hooders in this case hadn't talked back to the parking enforcers, that maybe it would have been a more pleasant well, thing. Well, hold on. But that's that's unfair uh, because if you're talking about how the Robin Hooders should act, you're talking about a group, a large group of people mm -hmm. to get them to go out day after day. Because it's one thing to just kind of wander out and plug a few meters. It's another thing entirely to do this for hours at a time mm -hmm. and this is real on, feet on the ground activism so when you're talking to meter maids and they say things and then you say stuff back and whatever however yeah. that exchange goes you're trying to suggest that somehow people aren't going to have an opinion that are that are you know doing so much activism that they're going out day after day plugging meters that's not possible it's no way to control uh, I didn't say nobody the would have an opinion that's just one of the complaints that's coming yes. in is but that it's you an guys impossible need to be nicer complaint. to the you no. need to be nicer it's an impossible There's complaint more coming up here in moments you can take control it's free talk live hey everyone my ghost 80 percent ar-15 project was a total success Thank you, Guns80.com. Thank you. I bought my Ghost AR-15 at Guns80.com. It's everything I expected and more. Just got a note from my buddy Mark, and now they're having a huge Black Friday and a big Cyber Monday sale. Guess Christmas is coming early this year. I'm definitely ordering one for my brother on Black Friday because the price drops to 400 bucks. Yes, I did just say that. 400 bucks. Unbelievable. At Guns80.com, the big sale is on. Begins Friday, November 22nd and ends December 1st. So hurry now. Sale prices for Ghost ARs again, 400 bucks. Black Friday will be a good day. Get your Ghost AR-15 at Guns80.com. Sale is on right now at Guns80.com. That's Guns80.com. Guns and the number 8080.com. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everyone from our good friends at Guns80.com. The big sale is on. I'll see you there. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kid's education, my money my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis, battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? 
At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidavi. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at Forum.LRN.FM. That's Forum.LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And join us via Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. You don't have to call in about the Colbert Report. We, we will continue uh, the discussion on that here in a moment, going to your calls. Next, you can bring up whatever you want. That is the point of Free Talk Live. We're here on the Live Sunday Show. Yeah, and whatever the, whatever way we feel beset here on Free Talk Live, however I feel like you know they're at me on all sides, it's nothing compared to what it's like for antiwar.com at antiwar.com they have the fbi contact uh, you know they were spying on them and they contacted uh, donors and let them know that we're keeping an eye on you because you're a donor to antiwar.com well here's the surprise for you it drove some people away and that leaves a really unique uh, website that i have a lot of use for in my life without a lot of funding and if you like antiwar.com, if you have never been to antiwar.com, please go. Please check it out. If you like what they do at antiwar.com, please join me in supporting antiwar.com. You go to antiwar.com slash donate. They need your money. They need it today. They are down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay. They're committed to keeping the website up, but they can't do it alone. They need you. They need me. They need everybody who supports this extraordinarily popular website that has the courage to support them. And by the way, they take Bitcoin. You know, it's not like you, you can donate anonymously with Bitcoin if you use mm -hmm. one of these washing services. It's antiwar.com slash donate because war is the health of the state. Let's go to Trent. He's in Iowa. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Trent. Trent, you're on the air. Trent going once. Hey, sorry about that. Hey, we got you. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, no... You two sound like a married couple. Yeah, well, we've yeah. been working together a long time. A little bit. I spend more time with Mark than uh, any girlfriend in my life. <laughs> well, or a relationship about to end. I don't know. No, oh, I don't think so. Side, it's all so good. It's all right. Uh, no, I just want to talk about that gentleman over in uh, uh, that, that was captured, held captive. John Can Cantley. John Cantley, yeah. Yes. And, uh, you know, I, I can certainly sympathize with him that, you know, he's on his last leg and He's uh, probably putting up all this propaganda that they're telling him about all these other nations, and I'm sure he's informed on it. My, uh, my concern is that he's calling the U.S. and Great Britain selfish countries for being there for oil, you know, all the, the different things that they have. But <clears throat> what was 
his intention going there? Probably to be a I very mean, successful photojournalist. Uh, he get that one iconic picture, like uh, you know that the, the guy getting executed in Vietnam. Mm-hmm. You know, like he he wants that picture of, of the Syrian conflict. Right. So he had his own selfish agenda for going over there. Sure, he did. Yeah. Now, being an educated guy, I'm sure he knows the uh, chances of getting caught and then turning around and begging his government, a government who who doesn't typically do business with terrorists, to uh to turn around and say, hey, oh yeah, this this guy, you know, he's different from other people. What what sets him apart? What makes him different from? And I know that the U.S. Yes. For whatever reason, we made that one trade. Uh, Which one are you referring? Trade. Which one are you referring? Um, the Bo Bergdahl one. Yeah, the the gentleman that yep. allegedly you know skipped out on on his duty. But, well, apparently, uh, uh, some people are more worthwhile than others. Uh, some people who wear government uniforms are more important than other people. Right. In, One might come to that conclusion. I don't agree with that. Trade. That's that's the conclusion that you can draw from them helping the one guy, but not the others. But then releasing how many prisoners for his one release? I don't recall. It, a few, was it? It was upwards of four or five, mm-hmm. I think. And you know that. What, I, I'm sure this this gentleman thinks he's up in the same ranks as is that guy, but. They're both human beings. They should be at the same rank. Well, I don't think the United States government right. sees it that way. No, and they don't. They don't see you as being no. valuable. You're just a resource, and you're expendable. And regardless of what the United States or Great Britain says, this guy knew going into the situation, if he got caught, what he was going to be up against. And because of his possibly selfishness, he uh, he in turn got caught, and now he's like, oh, shoot. Now I have to fall back on somebody else, even though I went into this situation knowing I probably have a good chance of, of getting caught. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I would say your assessment Maybe. is correct. I mean, you definitely take your own risks when you go and do things around the world. I mean, you take your risk when you walk down a ba- you know a dirt a, you know, an unlighted alleyway right. when you're going from the bar to your house in your city because the cops are likely not right there to protect you. I mean, so yeah, obviously you take your own risks in life. That doesn't mean that uh, I can't empathize with the guy and why he's upset no. considering he has no, paid in whoever who knows how much money into the government and the government does promise right. protection and things like that. But, you know, we know they don't care about us and, uh, you know, maybe he shouldn't be so surprised. Yeah, I mean, I, I can certainly empathize and I, I don't say, oh, yeah, he deserves what he gets. No, sure. not at all. God bless him. You know, and I, can you I acknowledge that, that uh, well. if it weren't for the U.S. military's meddling around the world, and the U.K. to a lesser extent, but they're, uh, they're meddling in other countries, then, you know, he wouldn't be there in the first place, likely. Of course, then he might just be going into some other war zone where, you know, get captured by the Bosnians or something like that. I don't um, know. I mean, yeah. do you think that Syria I, – I, I, I'm, I'm going to not necessarily acknowledge that. Let's not forget where he was. He was in Syria mm-hmm. – checking out the Syrian conflict. So there are still going to be, if the United States doesn't get involved in conflicts around the world, one could argue, and I might very well argue, at least in the short term, that there will be more conflicts as the equilibrium sort of is found. Um, so I don't know necessarily that uh, the the Syrian conflict that's going on as a rebellion is mm-hmm. in some way the United States' fault. A lot that goes on in the Middle East is, but I don't think that is. And we basically told them where we were going to be bombing. You know, it's, we're going into these countries. This is where we're going to be. And that's who's we, I guess. Oh, you've committed the, the sin US. now. You've said we to Ian. Well, well I just I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about the U.S. If, if we're yes. going to go in and fight terrorism and those things, uh, the only thing Obama's really been transparent about is where the hell we're going to be and when we're going to be and when we're going to get out. As far as everything else that happens back here on U.S. soil. You know, not as transparent, but when he says this is where we're going to focus our attacks, we're going to, you know, the uh, the focus air attacks, those kind of things. And then this gentleman says, oh, I know where all the trouble is going to be. I'm going there. And then he gets caught and he's like, "Um, now what? Yeah, well, I mean, it's a bummer. I mean, I get like I think you're making a good point. Thank you, Trent, for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. No doubt. I mean, you're in a, you're you're the one responsible for your own protection. 
uh, when it comes to around the globe and what comes to walking down the street from your house to the quickie mart. I think around the globe even more so. Yeah, like, I think that's true too. But you can't expect anybody to do your own protection for you even walking to the quickie mart. The government's not going to be there when you are, you know, under attack. Yeah, there's probably a one sure in a not. million. There's probably one in a million odds that a cop is going to be right around the corner when you get mugged or something like that. Maybe not that far, but it's not good. Your your odds aren't good. So you can share your thoughts here. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free, and we've seen plenty of cases where people have thought right here in the United States. Hey, when I call the police, they should respond. That's what happens in the movies. But in reality, they don't have an obligation to respond. That's not to say they won't. Sometimes they will, and sometimes they'll do the right thing. Or sometimes they'll respond and accidentally shoot you, thinking you're the bad guy. I remember when I was 15 years old, I got my motor scooter stolen. And I gave the report to the police officer, and I asked him things like, when do you think you'll find it? on that, son. Right? When do you think you'll find my motor scooter? (laughs) They left, and they they gave me a you know a piece of paper so that I could go to whatever insurance company I had, which of course I didn't have <laughs> for the motor scooter. You know, why would I pay insurance for you know? So I got a piece of paper, and that's it. Yep. My dad got on his motorcycle and rode around the neighborhood surrounding it? it and found the motor. Where was it? Motor in the ditch. It was it was it was it was in a backyard, yep. just a few streets away. Hmm. If they would have taken, if I would have taken, or they would have taken the time. But here's the thing: is I disenfranchised the protection of my motor scooter, the, 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 the finding of it, to the police. Because I thought, this you is thought what they, they do. It. Yeah. They, it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is not what they do. New 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. They just use you as a resource to expand their operations and paychecks. We're coming up. It's Lumber Liquidator's third annual yellow and black Friday flooring sale. Right now, get incredible end-of-year deals before they're gone. There's no better time to get hardwoods, like Brazilian Koa for an unheard of 40% off. And all bamboo is up to 30% off. Plus, our thickest and best laminates are 25% off our lowest prices. And get 26-month special financing. Even more deals are added daily in our stores. It only happens once a year. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Majid lives in Nor Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Do you have relatives and friends that are convinced there is no need ever to prepare for any kind of emergency? Are these also folks you buy Christmas presents for? At 30dayfoodsupply.com, we can solve both of these problems at the same time. Go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. We can ship your Christmas presents directly to them. Choose from our original $99 30-day food supply, our long-term storage vegan burger mixes, and other oatmeal, soups, porridges, beans, and granolas for everyday use. All products are non-GMO, MSG-free, and vegetarian. Most are gluten, soy, and nut-free. Call 541-229-0010 today. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low, cutting out the middleman by buying directly from their producers in Oregon. Remember, only $10 ships your entire order to the lower 48. Visit the website 30dayfoodsupply.com. Call 541-229-0010. 30dayfoodsupply.com. 541-229-0010. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, it's the live Sunday edition. We're uh, we're here to take your calls. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We can talk more about uh, some of the butthurt libertarians out there over the Colbert Report that came out this week on Wednesday, uh, skewering the keen Robin Hooders. We've got more on that here in a moment. Way to work that empathy muscle, buddy. Your calls are coming first here on Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Oh, I can empathize with the butt hurt, but that's what it is. Let's go to Brian in Des Moines. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Brian. Hey. Uh, you know, you guys were just mentioning about cops and stuff. Yes, sir. You know, my friend, my uh, my friend's house got broken into, and um, so he calls the cops, and the cop comes out, or it's the sheriff because he lives out in the country, mm-hmm. and uh, he goes. Uh, the, the sheriff gets there and he goes, what can I help you with? He says, well, my house got broken into, my guns were stolen and all this stuff. And uh, they they were in the safe. I don't know. They broke the safe open somehow. Wow, okay. And uh, so uh, the sheriff looked at him and I'm standing there with him and he goes, so what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> it's and a I'm really like, good question. You, honest <laughs> response. So I, I looked at him and I said, well, you know, this guy he lives here by himself. Nobody else comes in this house. There's only one person that touches that gun safe. Can you can you brush for fingerprints? Yeah. Did he chuckle well, at that? We, no. He goes, well, we could, but we, we're not. <laughs> okay. So here's one of the reasons. In your face. They um, Now, I've read yeah. this online. I, I, I believe it, but I can't really uh, check for the uh, veracity of it. Um. They say that when it comes to crime lab test kits, that rape cases are backed up two years. You'd agree that uh, the stealing of some guns is less important than a rape, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that rape cases are backed up more than two years because police departments in uh, they they prioritize drug cases. They want to oh, know that wow. that that green leafy stuff that they've got is in. They can say this is in fact marijuana, so they can so they can wow. charge somebody. Really? They need to be able to charge it. So these uh, you know the in these cases you're having real crimes put on the back burner because I can imagine they're never if if he did take the fingerprints he'd just be doing it to make your uh, friend feel better. Mm. And I think that the cop was actually doing you guys a real favor, a, a real solid by saying, look, it's, we, this isn't what we do. <laughs> we, we, I'm right. sorry to hear about your stolen stuff. Here's your pink piece of paper. I got to go. And, well, you know, he just he just shot you some solids here, you know. Right. And it, in here, you know, and here's the, the kind of the weird thing is, is that a week later, the sheriff department contacts him. And says, uh, you know, we haven't found your guns, but last, the same weekend that your guns got stolen, we released somebody from jail who was already in jail for theft of other places around your your area of stealing guns. Mm. They, so they released a guy of, of stealing guns, and then it was probably two weeks later 
uh, a truck was stolen from up by another buddy of ours, and it was wrecked down by his house, and then a, and then a truck stolen from there and drove to Des Moines or Pleasant Hill, and that was on a Monday or a Sunday or Monday, and the guy uh, that stole the truck down there went into Pleasant Hill and shot three people. Oh God! <laughs> so you know, it, it just it just kind of blew my mind that you know. You know, this is one of the things that they really have it tough. I, this is where I empathize with the um, the law enforcement apparatus out there. So they let this guy loose because they've got to let him loose. His time's up or mm-hmm. whatever. Um, you know, the charges have been dropped. They let him go. And he goes out and does horrific stuff because there's a percentage of people in jail who are bad people, right? Um and then, you know, like the the public at large sort of rightfully feels like, hey, these people that are supposed to be protecting us did a really bad job of protecting us here. Like there's this system set up that's supposed to nominally protect the innocent and at the obviously the cost of the the individual. I think if we all stopped disenfranchising ourselves from the responsibility of our stuff and started, um, you know, laying uh, you know blame instead of police police are really just a cleanup squad and if we just right. thought of them that way instead of Hollywood showing uh, showing them diving yeah. in front of the bullet that was going to hit the little girl or whatever they're they're doing there I, I feel like the PR the police get is just it gives them a, a role that is completely beyond what they're supposed to do well I you know I you know I told my friend I was like you know I said you know I kind of see his point because what he's going to have to do is he's going to take your report and then he's going to turn it over to a detective. And then the detective is going to contact you if ever. to further. <laughs> yeah. If ever. And, and of course he never got contacted. Uh, of course but not. I said, that, I said, that's what they, I said, that's what most police officers and, and sheriffs do. They'll come out, they'll take your report and then they'll give you a case number and then they'll tell you, Hey, a detective is going to call you. You well, know, at least like he just told him so. right to his face, look, I'm not going to do that, and I have no obligation to do that. I mean, it, I think that makes it pretty clear. Uh, it's unfortunate that people have to learn the hard way because usually when you find out the cops have no obligation is when you it's, it's called them. Yeah. You know, you are looking right, for right. them to give you services that you thought you were paying for. Brian, thanks for the call tonight. Toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE because, hey, if you're not satisfied with their level of service— well, you can just pull your, oh, no, you can't pull your money from them because they'll just keep charging you year after year and you'll have to keep paying for their crappy service, whether or not you're satisfied with what they've done. And they know you have to keep paying. And so why should they bother improving their service? I mean, if, if everybody who's within their area of jurisdiction is forced to continue to fund their shoddy job that they're doing, then why would they want to make it any better than it currently is? You What's the kind incentive? Of, you have to kind of ask yourself that. I mean, uh, police are funded, um, you know, in large part by property taxes. I think that that's probably the most, uh, you know, maybe some kind of business tax, uh, an occupational license for doing business might be, uh, you know, another fair way to fund them or whatever, but these are the people that that should be funding them, not you know going out and giving speeding tickets to fund themselves. I think that's wrong, but um, you know, I mean, these are these are the way that that, that they should be doing. You you really kind of kind of wonder though if I had that money back. I don't know what uh, you know when I lived in Sarah. I don't live in a town that has uh, police services, but when I lived in Keene, what percentage of my rent was going to pay off the you know the police? Mm. And if I had that money back, could I hire some sort of low level security service from you know some security organization? I mean, what do the police actually give you? They drive by every now and then, maybe. I used to live on dead end streets. I'd never see them, um, and, and that's good because I didn't want cars coming down the street. They'd run over my cat. Um, um, but I, you know, what would you get if you, you you were able to put give your money to some low level security organization? Let's talk to Brian, a different Brian, also in Des Moines. You're on Free Talk Live. Hi, I wanted to interject a little bit on the uh, last Brian from Des Moines. His comment: He failed to mention that our our sheriff here in Polk County, Iowa, uh, is named Sheriff McCarthy, and uh, he's an extremely liberal sheriff. But it, it's ironic that he is more than happy to. Uh, to put cases, like you said, finding that marijuana, that green stuff, he's more than happy to put resources on that sort of thing uh, before saying, hey, let's find this guy's this guy's uh, cache of firearms that were stolen from his house. 
Well, just a point um, of clarification, it, the statistic, Mark, you were talking about there was nationwide, right? Like that the the laboratories are backed up nationwide. It wasn't just yeah. a Des Moines it's thing. It's not or just something a Des Moines like thing, certainly not. Um, so, It'd probably be a state, right. yeah, state I mean, lab anyway. Whether he's liberal or conservative, I don't think is relevant to the discussion. No, it's 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 not relative. Relative. I just wanted to interject that point there, but it's just it, when I hear that Sheriff McCarthy or, or one of his deputies said, "Well, we aren't even going to worry about finding finding your firearms." It just it makes perfect sense. You've got to put into context who Sheriff McCarthy is, uh, and then you want to and then you want to look at the the voters from Polk County who turned out in the 2012 elections and uh, voted straight ticket, voted for Sheriff McCarthy, have no idea who the man is. So we've got a great guy here in, in Polk County named Dan, Dan Charleston, who's a constitutionalist, and he's more than willing to stand up for the Constitution every single time when it comes to uh, the Sheriff's Department. People don't you know, know who that's he is. Not People true. don't care to look into who but he is. There's a is. Better, there it are better true. and worse candidates, Ian. You know that, that these so-called constitutionalist sheriffs, they're going to go around and arrest people for having plants, just like every other sheriff. I mean, look, if you they know, if they respected the Constitution, they'd respect our right to own ourselves and uh, do whatever kind of business we want to do. But if I want to sell somebody a bag of marijuana, then uh, they'll put me in a prison cell for that. That's not very constitutional. And I agree. I agree. There, There's a point where he has to say, look, I have to follow the law. I agree with you on that issue there. But okay. if you look at if you look at Charleston's uh, Charleston's campaign against McCarthy's, he was so much better. And you're right. There's there's better and there's worse. But he definitely falls into the better category, whereas McCarthy falls into the worst. Brian, thanks for your call tonight. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. We have the third hour on the way. Plenty of time for you with your calls and thoughts. 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Kane in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, November 23rd, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.45 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,202 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $358. 
Antiwar.com reports, quoted in Syrian state media, President Bashar Assad is pushing for real and sincere international cooperation to defeat the Islamic State within Syria, urging the U.S.-led anti-the Islamic State coalition to work alongside him. Assad warned the region is going through decisive times, cautioning that past backing of various rebel factions was a big part of why the Islamic State got so powerful in the first place. Nominally, the U.S. has been insisting their focus in the war against the Islamic State is ousting Assad first, though they have also conceded that they are not actually doing anything to oust Assad. Indeed, the U.S. is already cooperating with the Assad government, despite its claims to the contrary. Officials have been funneling intelligence to Assad for months through intermediaries, including Germany and Iran. Remaining distanced from Assad seems to be the administration's attempt to save face about their failed attempts at regime change, but it's obvious that their focus is on the Islamic State, the same enemy Assad is fighting. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. Reuters reports Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives on Friday filed a long-anticipated lawsuit challenging the implementation of President Barack Obama's signature health care law over employer-based coverage and payments to insurers. The lawsuit filed in a federal court in Washington against both the Department of Health and Human Services and the Department of Treasury targets a decision to delay implementation of the law's employer mandate, which requires employers with more than 50 employees to offer health care coverage. It also challenges a provision of the law that authorizes treasury payments to health insurance companies. House Speaker John Boehner in a statement said that Obama bypassed Congress to take unilateral actions when implementing the health care law. Boehner said if the president can get away with making his own laws, future presidents will have the ability to do so as well. The House has an obligation to stand up for the Constitution. Jonathan Turley, the lead counsel for House Republicans on the lawsuit, said in a Friday blog post that the president's actions blurred the lines between the branches of government and usurped the ability of Congress to use the power of the purse during the appropriations process. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. UPI reports, satellite images show China building an island on a reef near the disputed Spratly Islands. The new islands could be big enough to hold the country's first airstrip in the South China Sea. Defense publication IHS Jane's said satellite images taken on August 8th and November 14th show Chinese dredgers have created a landmass along Fiery Cross Reef almost as long as the reef itself. Dredgers are also creating a harbor that would be big enough for tankers and major surf surface combatants, according to the publication. The construction has caused alarm among the other countries that lay claim to the island chain. The Spratly Islands and surrounding waters are also claimed by Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, Vietnam, and Brunei. The Philippines in May expressed alarm over other Chinese-built reefs in the area, saying the construction was intended for an airfield. The U.S. recently partially lifted its ban on weapon cells to Vietnam to allow maritime weapons and weapon platforms in light of South China Sea conflicts. China, the only Spratly Island claimant without an airfield in the area, condemned the U.S. action. The long-standing disputes between the countries involve both land and sea claims with interests that include oil, natural gas, fishing areas, and control over shipping lanes. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Tensions in Washington, D.C. reached a new high yesterday as several dozen members of Congress took a class of visiting school children hostage, barricaded themselves inside the Capitol Rotunda, and demanded $12 trillion in cash. The children were rounded up at gunpoint, whereupon the House Speaker informed negotiators that one child would die every hour unless their demands were met. Here now, a brief video one of the students was able to send out from inside the Capitol.
Historians across the country politely reminded Americans this week to quickly check and see what has happened in the past before making any big decisions. Just take any book with history in it and then quickly skim through it to see what decisions in the past turned out to be bad. And then once you've pinpointed them, simply don't make those same decisions again. Because if a bad thing happened again, you see, that would be very bad indeed, wouldn't it? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want. It's the live Sunday edition of the program with you in the studio tonight. You've got Ian and Mark. And you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Create the content right there on the front page of the site. Submit different things to it. Maybe it's a YouTube video you found entertaining or an article that you thought really was important and other people need to see it. You can submit it over at freetalklive.com via our Reddit-based system. It's free to do that, and you can vote up what you like and vote down what you don't. Go and get interactive over at freetalklive.com. We've talked about uh, the police and how they have no obligation to protect. We discussed ISIS and uh, the latest video from John Cantley, one of their prisoners. We played some of that audio for you tonight. And also we're discussing the Colbert Report video came out uh, this week on Wednesday that many libertarians are very upset about, saying that it set the movement back decades, according to one post well, on freekeen.com. Let's go to your calls and thoughts, though. You can bring up what you want. We've got Joe listening in Asheville, North Carolina to WWNC. Hey, Joe. Hey, how you doing? Welcome, sir. Go ahead. Um, just in regards to that story about the guy and the police not really being obligated to do anything. That's right. And I, I heard you say something about which would you admit, you know, or say was more serious rape or the gun theft. Well, wouldn't that depend on what the person that stole the guns was going to do with them? I don't know how like you can know that. into a school or a mall? Well, you don't know it. Of course you don't. But that. Uh, that would be a good reason for tracking them down because it sounds like if they're going to break into a house and steal guns, they might be using them to do criminal actions. They might. <laughs> Robbing someone. They might. Usually oh. what happens, uh, the vast majority of instances when you have a, uh, a burglary, and they call this an armed burglary when you go in and you steal something, you don't have to be armed when you go in, but if you touch a gun while you're there, it is then armed burglary. Um, in most circumstances, it's just sold. The gun's sold to somebody else, and they, you know, they make money off of and it. And what are they going to do with them? You, you know, never like, know. I mean, I but a what, what's a go? What's a gun owner going to do with a with a gun? There's a gun owner sometime this week. Yeah, a gun owner went to school and got a license, and he's a tax paying, probably a good citizen. There's no there's no, there's no license to own a gun here in the state of New Hampshire. Um, there's a gun owner in the state of New Hampshire. There's a gun owner in the state of the United States of America that will go out and they'll kill somebody with their gun this week, and so. I what mean, percentage? What I, percentage of people with licenses do that? Are you advocating for licenses for guns? Because my constitution says that the government shouldn't have the right to, um, the, 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 they don't have any ob ob ability to infringe your right to own a, a gun. Well, yeah, that's a good argument, but that isn't what the law says. Well, this is the highest law in the land. One. Um, one might suggest that the police officers are in fact uh, working for a bunch of hoodlums in Washington, D.C. that are breaking the law all the time. Yeah. So, Joe, just to clarify where you're coming from, I mean, look, you can speculate a lot about what happens to guns when they get stolen, and certainly there's a good chance that they'll end up in the hands of somebody who might use it in a way that, you know, would not be a defensive More purpose. More so than someone that owns it and has a license and is a good tax-paying citizen never did any crime. I'll agree with that, um, but, I mean, that's because a good tax-paying citizen is probably somebody who's subservient to the uh, government, right? Well, we all are. Well, you don't have to be. <laughs> so I well, don't consider man. myself— uh, take a, Tell them to take a long walk off a short pier. I don't consider myself as subservient as the average American. Certainly, we all obey well, in not different ways. Then we become a, um, more of a revolutionary, I guess, because that's how I would be if I knew I could get away with it, But because they have such stupid laws and— I was just calling also to ask, what is the obligations of police? They, they're pretty good at handing out tickets for things that aren't serious or dangerous. Yeah, they are, because that's fundraising. I can tell you a story, but uh, I got a ticket once for rolling through a stop sign. I mean, it was like uh, a cockroach could go faster than I. Mm -hmm. There was no traffic north, south, east, west, literally, and didn't come to a complete stop, and I got a ticket for that. Oh, and yeah. I asked <laughs> 
I asked the officer, well, you know, they're obligated to do that, right? You know, hand out some a ticket for something that wasn't uh, endangering anyone's life. Well, and, no, they're uh, not obligated asked, to do it, but they, uh, they're more likely to do that because that's fundraising, uh, gen- you know, it's generating right, revenue exactly. for the department. And um, my, my smart mouth, first thing out of my mouth was, why aren't you all you know, going after real criminals, which <laughs> that's probably been said a few times. It's by a good question. Have... I wish more people would say it. Really, I mean, I wish more people, if the police pull, for all the people they pull over all day long for stupid stuff like you're talking about, like, you know, running a stop right. sign or going 10 miles over the speed limit, if if, you know, 50% of the people they pulled over said, hey, why aren't you going after real criminals? If they got that feedback from people more often, I think it would wear on no, them. No, I don't think that they don't. I, when you're talking about the, the traffic cop, they don't really have any ability to do anything about it. They're there. To do anything about real criminals? No, where they are assigned. It's, it's not like they're saying, you know what I need to do today? I need to look for some uh, speeders. Mm. They're, they're going out and they're doing what they're assigned to do. Their bosses tell them to do that. Now, I'm not saying that makes it okay. I'm of the opinion that uh, cops handing out speeding tickets is about the most inefficient way to deter speeding that we could do in this day and age. But that's what they do. I also think that when they stop somebody on the side of the road, that they're creating a hazard. Oh, yeah. Like, the suggestion is they're making the road safer, but while they're doing it, they're making the road more unsafe. Well, Mark, I don't care if it's giving giving that feedback to the cop on the side of the road or giving the feedback to one of the chiefs that you happen to go to the same church with. I think if more people would actually experience express themselves about how they don't appreciate what the police are doing that that has a that could have an effect on them that could i don't make mind people realize. speaking yeah. their mind they should yeah. well they don't though because they're deathly afraid that the police will you know do something there's worse. a good reason to be scared of that to them and Jeff? that brings up another thing um, um how many innocent people have been killed by cops chasing someone that didn't commit a really you know heinous crime or you know they just they stole a six pack, and the cops are after him because you know they they saw his car, and the you know the beer and wine store owner said it was such and such a car, and they go after him, and they go up to ninety, one hundred and ten oh, miles yeah. an hour. And there's a strong argument. A six pack of beer. Yeah, there's a strong argument yeah, that so uh, the police should not pursue. Uh, you know, high speed pursuits that that just shouldn't happen. It in depends almost on the municipality. Instance. It depends on the uh, it depends on the country um, as to how they handle that and. Uh, you know, There's a lot of them where they'll just do it on any old drop of a dime. Sure, I mean, sure. All right, it's time. Lo- load up, boys. It's like they saw the Dukes of Hazard. you yeah. know? Hey, thanks, Joe, for your call tonight. I appreciate Brothers, it. shut up, because they're probably coming after me now. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the call. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. But, yeah, I mean, what's a, what is a life worth? Right, I, I think that Joe's made a good point there. Is that you got somebody who's running out of a convenience store with a pack of you know a few packs of cigarettes, a you know, carton of cigarettes, and some some beer, hops in the car and squeals off down the highway. I mean, is it worth putting everybody on the highway at risk to have five cruisers coming after him at 100 miles an hour? I mean, that's pretty dangerous stuff. Was that pack of cigarettes really worth that? Well, no. I've I've heard the counter argument to this, and I'll present it. I don't have an opinion on it is that sometimes when you're dealing with somebody who's, you know, misbehaving, Mm -hmm. whether it's on the road or, you know, in in life, real life with uh, the pack of cigarettes or whatever, that it's indicative of somebody who's sort of on the run and done some terrible things already. So, you know, there's been speculation. It's speculation. There's no doubt about it. But I, I heard a story from a police officer where he pulled over somebody, actually it was a friend of his, that Mm -hmm. pulled over somebody for, um, you know, sort of acting wildly driving. And, you know, what's the what's really the big deal? You know, why would you chase after this person? Well, he pulls him over. The guy pulls out a gun and comes after him. He caps the guy, and, and that's, the, that's the end of that story. But what was that guy going to do? A, a person who's willing to get out of their car and pull a gun on a police officer, what was that person going to do? And I... I don't know. I don't make... I don't think the police should make... Uh, or should take action based on wild speculation. I think that's generally a bad idea. Uh, you're, I would say that you're responsible for your own protection, and to suggest the police officers are responsible for it is puts you in a position where you're going to be dissatisfied with their work. Sure, on a pretty I'd like to protect basis. myself, but a cop runs into my car at 100 miles an hour, comes up, I'm going 55, and he's doing 100, runs into the back of me. That could be a real problem. Uh, there's all kinds of stories yeah. all the time of police officers killing people, innocent people during high speed chases, or just going somewhere to do something. And it wasn't worth it. Cri- uh, Crichton is on the line in Kentucky. You're on Free Talk Live. Crichton. Yeah, how's it going, guys? Welcome, sir. You're Long on the air. No here. Yeah, you guys were talking earlier about the Colbert Report. Yes. Um, 
video. So I hadn't seen it yet, so I had to go watch it because typically I'm a libertarian, and I typically find other libertarians to be unintentionally hilarious. Great. Well, let's find out what you think about it here in a moment. Hang on, Crichton. We'll bring you back. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Many libertarians have their panties in quite a wad over this particular video. Mark, did you post that, by the way, on our I Facebook? did. Okay, great. So you can go and grab it over at facebook.freetalklive.com. Check it out there. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live in moments. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. It's 
Free Talk Live. Dial in toll free. Take control of the airwaves at 855-450 free. We're doing the live Sunday edition of the program. Of course, you can join us online at freetalklive.com. And if you've got some Bitcoin and you need a car, check out newageautosales.com. They've got late model used cars that they've cared for from their rental fleet. And since New Age Auto Sales is selling their own well-maintained rental cars, the auction fees and transport costs don't get passed on to you. Their cars are in great condition and they're priced to move. They can ship anywhere in the world. So go to newageautosales.com and see what they've got. They're looking to be the Bitcoin auto dealer. With Bitcoin, you never have to worry about your money entering into, you know, U.S. dollars. They've, it's, it's unexchanged. They're, you're buying cars for Bitcoins. It's newageautosales.com for late model, well-maintained cars shipped anywhere in the world for Bitcoin. Head on over to their website. Give them a call. Buy a car from the first Bitcoin auto dealership. It's newageautosales.com. And, you know, lots of people listen to Free Talk Live want the Bitcoin economy to expand. You want that to happen. It's not going to happen because you hold on to your Bitcoins. You hoard. You're going to have to buy things with Bitcoins. You can go out and buy more Bitcoins to replace the ones that you've spent, but the economy is only going to grow if the transactions occur. NewAgeAutosales.com. Crichton's on the line with us listening in Kentucky. Uh, Crichton, you're calling regarding the Colbert Report. Last week on Wednesday, they had a um, almost eight-minute long segment about Robin Hooding. Now, Robin Hooding, for those just tuning in, is a form of activism that happens here in Keene, New Hampshire, where we live. Uh, that's where we're doing this radio show. And uh, Robin Hooders are a group of activists that go out. They typically will walk in front of the parking enforcers when they find them and then deposit change in expired meters. And sometimes there are conversations that uh, can get a little bit a little bit heated between some of the people who've participated in Robin Hooding over the years and the parking enforcers. And the Colbert Report used some of the footage of that happening. Right. This is a course of years. That's and right. they had Since 2009. A few seconds worth of exchanges, and it suggested that this is how things go. Mm, so, Crichton, uh, you were going to give us your response and your thoughts because you just apparently just watched it. What tonight? Yes, sir. I just watched it a few minutes ago. Um, and like I said, I I typically find other libertarians to be unintentionally hilarious. Um, so I figured I'd go to see this video and I have a good time of it. So, regardless of how you feel about the video. That's usually my, my how it works out for me. Got it. But I go watch this video, and the only giggle I got out of it was the the, the guy with the white afro. Yeah, um, it's funny to see Garrett Ian's hair. Um, he does have an amusing big mop of afro hair mm -hmm. on top of his head. But yeah, I mean, you know, it it a lot of a lot of uh, uh, news agencies just want to take a picture of him because they think he's in, he's interesting to look at. It's true, he is. But my my general thought is is that if a comedy show can get all this video of libertarians doing their thing, and that's the best they can do. They're really not doing very well. But generally speaking, I'm personally of the opinion that types of activism that typically involve aggravating bystanders doesn't tend to go well anyway. Uh, I don't personally participate in those kinds of things. Mm I like the idea of Robin Hooding, but – what you see in the videos that I've seen in the past, it doesn't represent well, and that's what that's the outcome. Well, I mean, I respectfully disagree. Uh, there are a lot of people on the streets in Keene who will compliment the Robin Hooders, who appreciate uh, the fact that we're there. Of course, you know, they didn't interview any of those folks for the Colbert Report. It's because it was a dishonest hit piece. Well, you know, it, it is what it is. And, and I'd uh, say that if you don't think that it's... Uh, uh, you know that it's very effective or whatever. This is the best they've got. Then what about all the people that came to freekeen.com and had such a fit? I don't think it's very effective. The video was very effective for them as a hit piece. Oh, uh, well, I disagree. Show, it should at least be funny. I, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was funny. I laughed a few times during uh, during the presentation, and obviously the audience laughed. I mean, they laughed a number of times during it as well. I mean, well, they laughed at times that I... the audience that they have, but. Um, but my my thoughts on the on the matter as far as activists, I think it works great as the, as the pre the actual Robin Hooding is excellent. It's it, but in my in my experience, in my opinion, that when you have a bystander who has nothing to do with it and they get aggravated, 
by the actions of activists with somebody entirely not related, involved with them. Well, like bystanders the, the get bystanders. aggravated by activists, period. I mean, there was the study, uh, Pilius blog posted it, Jason Sorens, the founder of the Free State Project, that showed that people just don't like activists. You know, basically yep. normal people uh, don't like activists, so quit doing activism, I which, can't of tell you how ridiculous. many people I've talked to here in Keene, sort of the Republican-y sorts. Uh, those are the circles that I tend to, uh, you know, to some extent travel in. And I can't tell you how many of them had said things like, yeah, I agree with what they're doing, but I just I, I just don't like the activism. Like, they really, yeah. it just comes down to, I don't like my world broken up, um, you know, any way that, it's, uh, that I didn't plan. And how come these people have time? Why do they yeah. have time like this? Get a like job. This? Get a job, right? Like, and I'm, you know, like, uh, well, hold on. Most of these people are employed uh, or self-employed. What do you mean, get a job? Crichton, thanks for your call, man. I appreciate the thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Yeah, I've noticed that it doesn't matter what your message is. You can stand on the side of the road with a sign, which, you know, this is kind of the classic activism, right? Yeah. Standing with a sign. It's some activism. Um, you know, I don't think it's the most effective, but it something that people can do so you stand on the uh, side of the road and it's something i've done plenty of times you stand on the side of the road with a sign doesn't matter what your message is it's guaranteed if you're there for an hour almost a guarantee you can almost put money on this that yep. somebody's can, gonna roll it, by it can have facts on it i mean the the, the sign can have simply facts not yeah, an sure. opinion so that you, somebody's going to roll by, even in the dead of winter, they're going to have their window rolled down and they're going to shout, get a job at you. Yeah. It happens at the peace protest, Mark, that happens here on a weekly basis. On, on Saturday at 11 a.m. Yeah, with a no, bunch of old men. A bunch of old retired guys yeah. have people rolling by and saying, get a job to them. And it happens with us, you know, liberty activists on whatever it is that we're doing. So it doesn't really seem to matter. Uh, time, place, manner, issue. Participants, you can change all of those factors. People and have done it here at, at the studio. Yelled, "Get a job!" While we're right. doing our job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, on the because, air. That's because, like you were saying, Mark, these people don't want their day to be disturbed by activists. They don't want their mind to be disturbed. They're going about their life, and everything is just copacetic and groovy. And, and then there's all these activists out there trying to change things. And people trying to change things is a problem for those who are comfortable in life, those who appreciate the status quo. Or even if they don't appreciate the status quo, they just don't yeah. want you to change it the way they want you to change it. Yeah, that's all certainly true. So uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. One of the critiques that comes in a lot, that has been coming in a lot about the Robin Hooding, is why can't you guys just be nicer to the uh, parking enforcers? And the fact is, I am generally nice to the parking enforcers. But when one of them is behaving in a ridiculous manner, manner as one did recently and i got a lot of heat over creating a video of it i'm going to show that person behaving in a ridiculous manner if a government bureaucrat is behaving in an aggressive manner i'm going to show or a threatening manner i'm going to show them behaving in those uh ways i'm going to put those videos up so people can see them and if that makes them uncomfortable that's not my problem that's what reality is that's what was happening and that's what I was showing. And I'm not going to stand by silently as government aggressors continue to hurt peaceful people and threaten others. I'm not going to just keep my mouth shut as so many libertarians appear to be advocating. More coming up. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. 